Hello Skyview, I'm Seth White, and I want you to know that it is my personal goal to keep this school and everyone in it protected. Now I am a first degree black belt in Chengdu Kwan Taekwondo, so it is easy for me to defend myself. But when you guys are alone and you don't have me around to protect you, what are you going to do? I have some tips to help you protect yourself against intruders. Now the first one I'm going to have is tips to protect yourself from a person with a knife. Come at me. Now first what you have to do is avoid the knife at all costs. And then you come around with this arm, grab it, and begin to strike the back of the hand repeatedly. And if you do that for a while and it doesn't work, you grab with both hands and you begin to shake until the knife falls out and ideally remove the mask as well. That's letting you know who the perpetrator is. Now what if the intruder has a gun? Well, I'll show you what to do then too. A lot of people believe if the intruder does have a gun, well you're in trouble, you can't do anything. That is a common misconception. What you do is you put up your hands, you say, I don't want any trouble, I don't want any trouble. You come down on the gun, headbutt to the forehead, and you follow up with a strike to the nose. Concaving the nose, pushing the bone up into the brain, giving you a chance to scramble for the gun. Now if the intruder has a gun and you're against a wall, well you can do something different. Let me show you. You grab her arm and you continually strike it against the wall. You see this? In a lot of Hollywood movies, that's because it works. You continually do this, and this may take some time, but you continually do this repeatedly over and over again until the gun 